Alright guys, welcome to Mark's Shrimp Tanks. Today I'm doing a little bit of culling in some of the tanks. I'm moving some of the not so great looking shrimp out of the tanks. And I thought I'd give you an update on my crossbreeding project, so stay tuned. Okay, if you're new to the channel and want to learn more about shrimp keeping, subscribe because you won't regret it. I breed tons and tons of shrimp. I do lots of crossbreeding as well. And today guys, specifically I wanted to show you this tank because um, my crossbreeding has been quite successful in here. Along the glass here, this is the third batch of uh, baby shrimp that are in here. If one comes to the front, I will take a picture of it. And this is the cross I had before. These little um, blue steels, they came from the first batch, which will be moved out today. They'll be going up into the top tank probably. Uh, here's a father here, it's just a zebra pinto, I think you would call this a three, three spot maybe, two spot, yeah three spot, he's got one on the cheek, one on his head, one on the other, other side of his head, so it's three spot, and uh, what we're basically doing today guys is we're moving out all of the babies that are big enough in here for us to move basically, let's see, you might be able to see this one here, See there? Right, these guys are absolutely tiny. Right, so these ones will be staying in here until they get to this kind of size. And here I've managed to catch about eight of them so far. And these are zebra pintos. There's various qualities in here. I think one might be a fishbone. The other ones look like I'm not sure if they're technically of the class like no named that Nanishi type. But that's what's in here, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to acclimate these to this tank that no longer has anything in it. This one's had all of its water replaced and refilled. This was last week, so this tank is ready again for a new shrimp. The um, orange eye blue tigers that were in here were not doing so great and I was getting the odd buried one, but then the females were dying. So I'm not sure if the water's a little bit too soft in this tank for orange eye blue tigers. But since I moved them over here into a tank with slightly less akadama and more water in it, the females have become buried. So um, in here now we have all orange eye blue tigers. I removed the two male crystals because there was just nothing happening at all. The, the females were never buried. And it was actually the next day after I put the male orange eye blue tigers back in this tank that the females were buried again. So. That just goes to show. Up here I was uh, today, specifically uh, taking out the, some of the worst looking ones. I've left a lot of the females that were buried in here. I'll wait until they've had their babies in. I'll take out the ones that I really don't want in here because it's something you should do regularly. You should uh, call your tanks. And I don't mean killing them. Lots of people do it different ways, but that's how I do it. I put all my shrimp with not so great markings in here and they could live their life out in here. Okay? I'm doing it in this tank up here as well. So it's always a good idea to put a bit of food in, get them all to come to the front, and then you could selectively take out the ones that you don't want, and I mean the ones that are like really washed out. Um, I've taken the worst ones out of this so far, but like this guy here, his markings are awful, right? So he'll be coming out of here today. And that is it for my little tiny crossbreeding update. I think we'll uh, take some pictures, we'll add that onto the video as well if you want to see that because I think you, want, you will want to see these guys in that tank. Can you see them through the side? Not really. Okay, so I'm going to give you some footage of these guys in that tank to some, some music. And uh, don't forget guys to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy Shrimp King!